welcome back guys to tutorial number six this is shrakes again now let's continue with our tutorial now what if you want user to enter an integer suppose enter your age let's change the variable name change it to age get us dot two underscore i put us age now see this get us function is the string it is letting the user to input a variable which is converted into the string and stored in the age but if you are using dot two underscore i this string is getting converted into an integer two underscore i and it is getting stored in the age and then finally we are printing the age now let's execute the program save it execute it enter your age let's say 57 not that old hit enter the output is 57 now let's take user input using the chomp function get us dot chomp dot two underscore i this is still a string without a new line character if you remember this in the last tutorial dot two underscore i it is converted into the integer Let's save it, execute it, enter your age. This time my age is 112. Okay. Hit enter, output is 112. So in this way we can take the integer value. Now, what if if you want an floating point value from the user? Enter the area. Area, okay. Edit it to area get test just change i to f to underscore f area just save it execute it enter the area 20.24 enter yeah exactly 20.24 we are getting the same thing now let's strike off this dot underscore dot to underscore f now area dot get test put s area let's try this one star 5 okay save it execute it now let's enter 20 hit enter you are getting the output like this what we are getting what we are doing is we are entering 20 as an area and that is a string so string into 5 string multiplied by 5 so put this will actually interpret it as 20 20 20 20 25 times in that way now if you write get as 2 dot sorry dot 2 underscore i then it will show you a mathematical expression mathematical value enter 20 it will show 20 into 500 just strike it off again again it is a string so put as area dot length Gth. it will give you the length of the string whatever you are entering this time let's see 20 oh why because this is 3 because 2 0 and backslash n 2 0 and backslash n that is a 3 characters now let's try get us dot 2 chomp save it Execute it, enter the area 20. It will show 2 because this is a chomp function which is chomping out, which is striking out the backslash n at the end of 20. So it has only this area string has only two characters that is 2 and 0 only. Now let me show you guys how to round off a floating point value. Let's see, suppose we are having a number 20.234567 like this. So we have to actually round off to the two digit. Let's say area equal to sorry equal like that. Then put this area dot round two. Now let's check the output. Save it. Twenty point two three. It has been round off to two digits after the decimal. So guys hope you liked this video so please subscribe to my channel and wait for my next video stay tuned this is Shrek signing off thank you